What I fear most in my life today would probably have to be not doing something I love. Um, I'm, I'm a major, uh, video production major at Ohio University, so a 9 to 5 job just wouldn't cut it for me, I guess. I just couldn't see myself cooped up in a cubicle or in an office wearing a suit and doing a 9 to 5 job. Uh, I'm too creative. I feel like my head's too too many thoughts are going through my head at 100 miles a minute. I just feel like I couldn't be cooped up and be uh, caged in like that. I would just want to explode and release with all these ideas. So I feel like that's why I'm in a, such a good major like video production because you have that chance to take your ideas that are in your head and put them on video or a film and explore those ideas and just share them with the world. And when we're in such a technology-driven uh, generation like we are today and even advancing further in that, uh, it's going to be amazing to see what people can do with, uh, with technology and the ideas that you can have in your head and take them and make them into, uh, into media. What do you love? Um, one thing I would have to say that I love the most is uh, my mother. Uh, she means the world to me. Uh, she's the best woman I know. She's the only woman I know that will probably ever love me unconditionally for who I am and what I have become and what I will become. Uh, she's raised me into the man that I am today, me and my brother both. She's done an amazing job with us, raising us to be just gentlemen, to say the least. Um, the blood, sweat, and tears she's put into raising us is unpayable. Uh, we're in her debt forever. I don't get how I'll ever be able to pay her back. I know I won't. Um, she's uh, one of my best friends. Uh, She's just that type of woman that would do anything for you, give her a heart if you needed it. Um, it's just really amazing that like someone like that could just love you unconditionally no matter what you do or said or just anything. It's like she's, she's my best friend. Uh, I love her to death. I would do anything for her. Like, like I said, I'm in her debt. It's amazing. Um, I just uh, love her so much. Wow, this is actually a lot harder than I thought. Um, you know what? Uh, you know what makes me laugh? Uh, being with your best friends, hanging out, not doing anything fancy, just sitting there, whether it be at your house, around a bonfire, out to eat, just just hanging out with some of your closest, most genuine friends you can ask for, and just reminiscing about the past. Granted, I'm only 20 years old, and my past is short. But you never know what's going to happen, and when you get those moments to sit there and reminisce with your friends and just laugh your butts off about stupid things you did, mistakes, just uh, conversations you had, jokes, or videos you made, it's just really uh, heartwarming and uh, touching, uh, touching feeling that you get, in your, uh, that you get in your body right here, in your heart, man. It's just like something that's, I feel it's... Uh, it's hard to find like a, a group of genuine friends that you can just sit there and laugh about anything. Like the way people, like the way we said, I, I don't really know. I, I know I'm stuttering right there, but it's just the way that people accents, if we were just sitting there and people breaking like, accents or just breaking into singing their songs or just get up and dancing. It's uh, my one best friend Tommy does this uh, funny dance that we crack up no matter what. It's called we call it the freak out, and we just get in a big kind of like a cipher circle and just freak out and just like do the stupidest stuff known to man. And it really, it, it, it's one of the most hilarious things, if not the most hilarious thing that my group of friends does. So I'm really thankful for that and uh, really glad that I have a group of friends that can make me laugh uncontrollably. So. Got my digital camera. I've had this baby since 10th grade. It's an, it's a, just an older, old school digital camera, but there's something about taking photos that's a lot different than capturing on a video with the flip cam that I'm using. It's just, you can catch so many moments that I don't think you would uh, recognize on video that you can capture with a picture. And just, I think pictures are the best way to keep memories. It's something you can put in a scrapbook or make a montage of in a video. You can make pictures into a video montage. And you can just, it's one of those things that are, they're timeless. And they say, I really do believe it's true when people say uh, pictures are worth a thousand words. Because I really do think they are. Um, it's something that I hold dear to my heart. I love taking pictures. You'll never probably see me without my flip cam or my camera. I usually have them both just in case. Because, like I said, uh... 
my mom's always asking me since I'm on this trip in New York, she's like, you better be taking pictures, enough with the video. But I was like, oh, I can't take pictures, all I have is video. And I was like, I would just tell her, I'll take uh, still frames from the edit pro editing program I use and just use that. But there's just something about taking raw, straight, captioned pictures that's, uh, that's truly beautiful. So I always have a camera in my pocket. Pack gum. Gotta keep the mouth fresh for the ladies or after a nice healthy meal. Gotta gotta freshen it up with the gum. So always keep gum. The wallet, the trusty wallet. If I didn't have this, I probably wouldn't be able to afford uh, living in New York City. Uh, so this is definitely a good thing to have. Has my car to get into my building, has my uh, transit card has my debit cards has my id so pretty much if i don't have this i won't be able to make it out of my dorm room put it that way so this is definitely probably the most important thing i carry with me so Let's see what else ah the cell phone technology at its finest uh always gotta have this this is pretty much the the best form of communi communication that i use uh text a lot. I text all my friends, text my family. It's a great way to communicate. I mean, pretty much, not pretty much, but a lot of people in the world have cell phones now. It's like the most no, it's amazing piece of technology, like especially with like the iPhones and how they're progressing. It's amazing to see what the technology and phones have come to. I just can't, I'm really excited to see what's going to come about. And even a year from now, two years from now, it's going to be really exciting to see how advanced it becomes so you'll never find me without a cell phone actually you know what you'll never find me without more with less than uh three pieces of te technology on me i always have the flip cam which you are which is filming me right now i always have my digital camera i always have my cell phone and have a napkin uh, must have been from uh when I had gelato today in uh, Central Park, so that's the story behind the napkin. You gotta keep my hands clean and my mouth clean, so. And then you put the gum in after you eat the gelato. See how that works? It's just... And then the trusty iPod. Uh, this thing is actually one of the most important things to me because I am a huge fan of music, uh, always have been and always will be. Uh, music is kind of my way to get lost in uh in life i guess like in a good way um if i'm ever feeling bad down or just need need a smile i can pop in a song and just go to certain songs that really uh make me feel good and it's just something about music the beats the uh the lyrics the the harmonies the tempo it's just uh everything about music really uh really gets me going i think like if i didn't have my ipod i'd be I'd be going crazy because like sometimes I just listen to listen to some music and then I take on my flip cam and flip cam and uh, film stuff because it inspires me to do stuff. Uh, so I have the iPod, the camera, the gum, the cell phone, and the wallet all in my pockets. It's my pockets are pretty hefty. They're pretty fat. Not in the money way because I'm a college kid studying in New York. So to say the least, let's let's just say it's it's. I'm getting by. Uh, Kevin McDonald, I'd really like to thank you for this opportunity and the chance to do this. This is uh, an amazing idea. You and whoever came up with it, I think it's such a innovation and it's just such an awesome idea to get people involved and to see different perspectives all around the world. I really can't wait to see what the final project is at Sundance or whenever it's going to be released. I really uh, hope it does well and gets a chance to be shown around the world because I think it's a, an amazing idea and I know one that's going to take a lot of preparation and a lot of work to complete, but it's truly really a blessing to be here and uh, get this opportunity to do this. So I guess we'll just have to finish out the days here and see what the future holds for me. So thank you again and bye.